Wednesday and we always you know on a Wednesday we like to try and find something a little bit special just to get you over that midweek slump um, at, at the moment we're all homeschooling and um, it's not the easiest is it we're right at the end now but we've got um, we've got a Wednesday treat for you so we've got Lady and the Tramp two very very different doggies to have a go at here so we really hope you have a go at both let's get drawing <music> I'm going to start off by warming up here and today what you're going to see is that we've got a series of squares squares and rec and triangles like that this is what we're going to be doing it'll seem very odd but it'll all turn into a dog so what i want you to do on your warm-up paper is just draw a few squares and a few triangles and then each of them just change slightly change the edges and soften them and that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be drawing these shapes and softening them so what i want you to practice as well is instead of drawing a triangle hard which is almost impossible to rub out because we don't want the triangle see the difference there this this is a line and when we go to rub it out it will be as if it was never there so soft soft lines today let's get started <music> So we're going to do our Lady and the Tramp here in our sketchbook and um, you can see these are this is watercolour paper and I wanted to do Lady and the Tramp because we had so much fun didn't we with the Aristocats and they were so popular so I'm going to do this it's watercolour paper you can see it's nice and thick so I can do my watercolour washes and it won't go um, you can tell we're getting to the end of the daily drawer I've hardly got any pages left in my sketchbook and you can get these sketchbooks on our website now here he is Here's our dog we're going to start with, and we're going to do this in watercolour, and we're going to break this down into shapes. So you might be looking at that and look what we're going to start with here and think, that's crazy, Joanne. Stick with me. It always works. So we really need to be thinking about the size and about the where, where the shapes are, how they touch with each other. Let's get started with this. So I want you to start at the bottom of the page, and we're going to go with two lines to begin with. Right, let's think how of the distance between that. I'm going to measure it. It's about there. So about there for the start. This is going to form his neck. And then I want you to just take a line across there like that. And let's keep taking that up there. So we've got a sort of square shape here. I'm going to take it out just so it's slightly wider than that. And instead of a straight line there, we've got a kind of curve. All these are going to be um, rubbed out, so keep them so light. Right, now a triangle. From that line, come in slightly, not even a centimetre. I'm going to take this triangle out to here. This will be these nose. And we're going to take it down to there. So think about where this triangle is going down to. That's going to be down to there. And then another square coming off. This will be the bottom of his mouth. But I just, rather than thinking mouth, nose, think shapes. We're going to take that out. We're going to come halfway down there. I'm going to take that out. Think of the shape between the shape there. I'm going to take that out to there. That's actually probably slightly too far, so I'm going to go to there. So I'm keeping my marks so light so that I can easily rub them out. So that's our first four shapes, and we've got another three to add on. So here we go and go. This I'm going to take this one here, and I don't want it in a straight flat line. We're going up slightly not much but up slightly to there and then up here I want you to take it up probably about just over a centimeter there and we are going to come out here again up at a slight angle not much and then straight down there now here so this will be the form the top of our head I want you to take a line here and at an angle we're going to go to there and at an angle, we're going to join to there. Now, in a minute, you'll be able to pause and really take your time doing all these shapes. But here I want to go right to the top of the page now. Pretty much the top. I'm going to come down at a slight angle. I'm going to come in here about a centimetre. I'm going to take that up to join it. And there are my first few shapes. And even though it doesn't look like our tramp, he will stick with me. So get your first shapes in. So 
if you're thinking to yourself now, how are we going to turn this to this? This is the next stage and this is the key one, which we talked about in the... What you're going to do when we get to the pause part is you're going to see all your original shapes drawn in red there. And what we're going to do is we're going to adapt each of these shapes. So let's start here with the nose. All we're going to do there is take a tiny line down. And then from there, we're going to put this gorgeous big black nose in. And it's going to come up there like that. Down. So it's not a circle at all. Really think about what that shape is there so that's his nose we're going to leave that exactly as it is his jaw is actually incredibly square so we're going to leave that what we are going to do is come in like that and put a line for the mouth and from there we're going to put another line and we're going to join that up like that so we've got that little mouth line in there like that and then let's take from here let's take that line up there and up there so we're into our square now Okay, let's go up to the top now. Let's have a go at these ears. So this ear here, what we've got coming down is we're gonna bring the, a shape out like that for this ear. And from there, we're coming down. Let's cut off a little bit here. We'll stick to that line that we've got there, just a tiny curve, and then we're gonna stick to it here. So not much change there, but up here, we'll bring it in and then round a little line there. And that's one of our ears complete. Now here on this side, all we're gonna do is put the marks in for where the eye is gonna go. We'll actually do that next time. We're just gonna bring a line up here. That will help us when we put in the eye. And coming down here to this line, this will be where the next eye goes. So you can see it's a long way down, his head's tilted. We're gonna come in go like this. So we've just got one line now to go between these two and it starts off here and we'll curve it right down to there and then down. So can you see now he's already starting to appear it's almost like he's appearing from these shapes. We've got this little line coming here and now let's go on to this ear. So there we're going to join it down keeping that line there we'll take it a little bit out and again, a little bit out, not much. So the line pretty much follows that square for the ear. But at the bottom, we're going to bring it down, take it up, and then round. And then bring it in. And now I'm going to go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to rub out all these guiding lines that helped us with our beginner shapes. And you can see, can you see now? He's really starting to appear. So if you pause now and put in all of those shapes. So now we're going to finish it by working here on the mouth. So here where that triangle pointed out, what I want you to do is to just take it down and we're going to make it really nice and fluffy. There, like that. And coming down here, where we've got that side of his mouth here, there we just sort of bring it round. And again, at the bottom, we're going to make it fluffy. He's got, he's such a fluffy dog, this one. We'll take it in with a bit more fluff. At the bottom of the mouth, we've actually got some teeth just here like that. And we're just going to, we really are just going to put in a few shapes. We're not going to draw all his teeth in at all. But here, and this is key, here, this bit of his muzzle where we've brought that shape down, I want you to sweep it across like that and then make it nice and furry up to there. And we've got a little shape in here for his tongue. So that's his mouth coming round and his nose up there. Now here, between this bit here, we've actually got another little bit of fur there as well. So let's get going with these eyes. That's actually pretty much all we've got left to put in actually now. So here, what we've got is it isn't a convention. I want you to really break down and look at the shapes. I don't want you to think it now I'm going to put an eye in for him. Look, look, look hard at the shapes. We've got that line, straight line coming down there and we're going to bring it up like that and put in a small mark for the highlight. Coming here, the eyelid's really important. So make sure you get that eyelid in. 
And then we've got this magnificent eyebrow, which comes all the way up here and actually sticks out slightly over the top. So that's one of his eyebrows. So let's come over to this eye now. That's actually not the side of the eye. We're going to put the eye in here. We're going to bring it right up to there. And we're going to do the same on the other side, just bringing it up. Now, quite a lot of these Disney characters do the same thing, where the eye lid kind of goes like that, and you see a tiny little line poking out. So that you need to get in, and then the side here, that shape, and another little highlight in there. And don't forget again, coming up here, what we really need is his eyebrow. So curl it round like that, and then you put on his big furry eyebrows there. And that is our dog. So we're gonna paint this now using watercolors. So stick with us and you can see what colors we make. split this into a few parts and we will let it dry in between. I've got here my very simple palette which is available from our online shop and I'm just going to mix myself a very light grey wash. Now with watercolour if you want to make something lighter you add more water so I'm going to start with lots of water here. I'm going to go put some black in maybe a touch more but not too much and then here's the key I'm going to test it. Let's see is that pale enough? I think it pretty much is. I'll just go for a bit more water. Now, if you watch closely, what I'm going to do is there's some areas I'm going to paint paler grey. You can see this on the finished one. We've got some areas that are paler grey and some areas that are darker grey. So let's start first with the paler grey. I'm going to let that dry because I don't want it to flow in. I want these nice strong lines. Then I'm going to put the darker grey in. So let's go in and we've got it here and it goes right round the eyes. So we'll go in first with that, this nice pale grey round the eyes like that. And another bit, just a bit actually, not much at all up here with the paler grey. And here on this edge, that's pale. And then all around his muzzle. So we're going to go in here. Round, carefully round the nose. I'm actually going to go up like that. I'm not going to take it all the way across and down. And all that's going to be a nice light green, light, light green, light gray. There we go. They both begin with G. Okay. And then I'm going to come down here for the neck and I'm going to bring it up and there will be a darker gray bit there. Don't worry. You can actually even go over that with the dark gray. So you can just go all the way around underneath the teeth and then around there like that. So bringing his little furry there and we've got a darker grey bit there as well. So, but we can always come in with all that later. There we go. So that's the pale grey. Next, I'm going to just go and have a go in here in the ears with um, the little bit of pink. And what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to put a bit of water, not too much, and I'm going to go here with this crimson, which is really red. Let me test it first. Yeah, I think that's about right. Maybe a little bit more paint. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put the inside of the ears. And I'm going to let that dry at the same time as my pale grey is drying so that then I can come back with the dark grey. Now, I there is a touch of this colour here, but I really don't want it to go into my grey. So I'm making sure I leave a little line or be patient. I'm not very patient and you can let it dry. OK, so we'll let that bit dry. OK, so we're just going to carry on here. Sorry, I had to just stop them for a second because my husband was hadn't realised we were filming and had decided to mow the grass. So we're going to go around the eyes. I am going to paint um, the eyebrows over this. So we'll come back in with the eyebrows. And we're going to go down here like that and around. And here we're going to go down the side like that. You can put a few couple of furry bits in if you like. Let's take it right round here and in 
We're going to go around those furry bits there to the edge of the nose and right down the side there. Now this should dry quite quickly and then we'll be able to come in and put the black bits in there. And can you see it is actually drying slightly lighter? You can see that up here. Okay, so we're going to leave that to dry for a second. And whilst that's drying, I'm going to take my smaller, slightly smaller brush. I'm going to go, it doesn't really need a small one. I'm going to go into the black and I've gone straight into the palette there. I'm not even mixing a wash with it because I want it to be really dark for this lovely dark nose. I'm going to go in like that. And paint the nose in. And then making sure my brush is completely clean, I'm going to mix myself a little pink. And for that, what, what I'll do is that's the colour I had earlier for the inside of the ears. And all I'm going to do is go into my white here. I usually would just add water, but just with this palette of paints, it doesn't work that well. So adding in a bit of white there, it's like a white gouache really almost. That will give me a nice pink for the tongue. Definitely needs more. That's better. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put a little pink tongue, making sure that I go around those teeth. I'm going back with my small brush into my into that dark grey, making sure that I don't over blend this I'm going to just go around with the dark around the bottom of the mouth and into there but I don't want them to really touch each other and merge and I'm pretty sure that's dry enough for me to go in now I'm going to risk it anyway I'm going to go up here and I'm going to put in these fabulous eyebrows now if you want you could do this with a black pencil I'm just going to do it with my paintbrush get in that lovely black eyebrow and here on the eye as well I'm going to do this again I'm going to do this with my paintbrush but if you feel better doing it with a black watercolor pencil just go for it so there's one eye in and as soon as the eyes go in it's like we can see his personality coming up and we've got a little eyebrow there I'm going to put in that and I'm going to put in this eye as well hoping ooh, it's a little bit wet try to be a bit more patient than me really not see if I can take that out with my brush there we go and then the last thing to put in here is this magnificent I love these eyebrows I think they're one of my favorite things I've painted so far and it goes round in a curve like that I'm just going to take my brush out so that they come like that now to finish it off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black watercolour pencil. Oh, I've just noticed a bit here that I missed out. There we go. Put that in there. My black watercolour pencil, and when it's dry, I'm just going to go around little bits of it just to make them stick up a bit more. A little bit there. Around some of these furry bits, especially here around the mouth. Can you see? I'm just going to make it really loose and light. So it's the fur coming round like that. And you can do that all the way around with your black pencil. And that is our lovely trunk. Hope you really enjoyed that. Hope that you have a go at both of them because we they're both so, so cute. We're going to be back tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday is Draw With The Grandparents Day and Elizabeth got a really, really gorgeous Eiffel Tower. So make sure you tell grannies, granddads, aunties, uncles, get them ready so they're all ready at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning to draw your Eiffel Tower with Elizabeth. See you then. <music>